This is DIY Tools and Techniques, and today we're looking at special tools for making special cuts. First, we'll learn pattern routing using a pneumatic pin router. Then, it's a cool jig that simplifies a complicated and often tedious task, cutting decorative dovetail joints. Later, a great handheld wet saw. It simplifies cutting tile on the job site. And finally, a look at the industrial strength tools used to cut and shape granite countertops. It's really like a big aerator. It will level and grade and regrade, and it will uh, break up any dirt clods that you have. Exactly. Both in your lawn. Structural mortise and tenon joint because it does hold the structure together nicely. But if you look right here, you can actually see part of the mortise peeking out from underneath here. If this is an attractive piece, we want to make sure that that's not visible. So, cut both cheeks and the shoulders here. And this way, when it slips into the mortise, the tenon's right in there. It's completely hidden from view. It's a typical router that we've all had for many years except it's computer driven. And it's a whole lot bigger. There's a vacuum system under the machine that holds the material. This prevents the piece from flying off the router once it's cut. show you the basics of working with hammers and give you some tips on choosing the right one for you. If I can reach all around it, I'll use the box end. It won't round off. Put the wrench up here and really tighten down on it. See how that nut fits right inside that jaw? Well, it should come as no surprise that I typically have more than one project going on in my workshop at a time, and today's no exception. I've got two pieces of oak unfinished furniture here that I'm going to be working on today. The first one is this entertainment center that I'm going to stain using a traditional oil-based stain and finish using an oil-based polyurethane. 